nine millimeter, 45 ACP. It's an age old debate. Something that's been going on in the gun community for an extremely long time. I'm sure we won't put it to rest today, but we're gonna talk about it. Nine. Hey everyone, welcome back to Sawtooth Tactical. Today we're going to debate an age old debate among the firearms community, and that is 9mm versus 45 ACP. 9mm versus 45 ACP. Two of the most popular handgun cartridges, um, and two of my favorites. I've got plenty of guns chambered in both. So, I want to find out what your favorites are, but hopefully by the end, you'll know if I have a favorite as well. Maybe which one is better than the other? We'll find out. But before we get started, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like, share, comment. Are you a 45 or a 9 mil guy? Let me know down below. It helps the algorithm and it's greatly appreciated. And I want to thank everyone that has joined Patreon or used my Amazon affiliate links to help support the channel. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. Old, fat, and slow. That's what a lot of people call the 45 ACP. And they're not wrong. But it's what the 1911 usually comes chambered in, and I absolutely love it. My slow reload. So one of the benefits of 9mm is capacity. 17 rounds in this magazine in my M&P 2.0. You're going to be hard pressed to find a 45 with that kind of capacity. So, if you've been paying attention to the channel, you know by now how much I love the 1911. And the 1911 traditionally is chambered in 45 ACP, which is a very big round. Generally 230 grains around there. It's a big, fat, slow round. It just is. 9mm is what most of my firearms, well, most of my pistols are chambered in. I've got uh, one, two, three, uh, three here chambered in nine millimeter. And nine millimeter is not big, old, fast, and slow. Well, it's not quite new anymore, but it is small, skinny, light, and fast. So a little bit the opposite of a 45 when it comes to handgun uh, chamberings. So which one is better? Well, you know, I kind of am under the impression that 45 is better than nine millimeter, but 17 plus one rounds of nine millimeter is better than seven plus one of 45. And that's the thing about the nine millimeter, being that it's smaller, you can fit a lot more rounds in a similar size magazine as you can a 45 ACP. It's just a matter of physics and size. This magazine right here is a double stack Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 magazine and it holds 17 rounds of 9mm. I keep it full of uh, hollow point, you know, defensive ammunition. And this is 
my bedside gun. This is what keeps me safe at night. Now the 45 or the 1911 chambered in 45, it only holds seven rounds, but they're big rounds. You hear a lot of proponents of 45. There's all these sayings, you know, I carry a 45 because I only want to shoot once. I carry a 45 because they don't make a 46. You know, knockdown power, uh, stopping power, you know, and it is true. Being that it's bigger, a 45 caliber bullet will put a bigger hole in something than a 9mm bullet will. But with advancements in modern ammunition technology, um, 9mm has become a very, very effective cartridge. And there's a reason why the United States military, as well as a lot of militaries throughout the world, have switched to 9mm. In fact, I believe there are studies done by like surgeons and coroners and stuff that show that with modern ammunition, that they can't really even tell a difference between a wound from a 45 and a 9mm. So therefore, in my opinion, what do you want? Less rounds of the bigger one or more rounds of the smaller, faster one? Now it kind of depends what you want to do with it, right? So I like shooting 45 out of a big heavy gun. For one thing, the, the weight of something like this big 1911 soaks up that added recoil really well. But even with a smaller, lighter gun, now this isn't really a small gun, this is a full size M&P 2.0, and I've got a light on it, you know, it's got some, it's got a little heft to it. But there is a big difference in recoil. This gun stays on target better than this does. That's all there is to it. There is significantly more recoil to a 45 than a nine millimeter. So, and in fact, I always felt like I was better at shooting 1911s than most of my other pistols. Since I've put the red dot on this one, now I feel like I'm better at shooting this than any of my other pistols, including my 1911s. So, I'm trying to figure that out for myself as well right now. So today, the 45 we're shooting is this Ammo Incorporated 230 grain ball ammo. The 9mm is PMC 115 grain, also full metal jacket. The 45 is twice as much mass as the 9mm, and so it delivers a lot more energy on target. So while the 45 is a much bigger projectile, the nine millimeter, although smaller, is much faster. 45 is naturally subsonic, um, which is great if you're trying to suppress it. Um, nine millimeter, you can get 147 grain subsonics, or you can practice with uh, really light bullets, 115 grain, and these move a lot faster. <laughs> now with 45, the biggest drawback in my opinion is that capacity. And there's a couple ways to get around it. I did a video once in 1911s where I was dual wielding them as a joke, you know, get, get around the seven round capacity of two 1911s. Then you, you know, with one in the chamber of each, you actually have 16 rounds, but that is not very practical. They do make things like this. This is a 15 round extended uh, 45 ACP magazine, but are you gonna carry something like this? 
that's going to print. That's not going to be very easy to do. Whereas with something like this, this is a much, much smaller gun and it carries more rounds. 12 rounds in the, in the uh, magazine of this, plus one in the chamber, you can have 13 rounds of nine millimeter in a very small, compact, concealable package. Therefore, when I carry it concealed, what do you think I carry? I carry a nine millimeter because it is a very effective cartridge and being smaller and having a higher capacity in double stack magazines, I just like to carry more rounds. That way, if you ever, God forbid, had to use your gun in self-defense, you have more chances and a higher likelihood of getting your rounds on target. So even if your round is bigger and more devastating with a 45, when you are in a situation where you're under a lot of stress, you're not going to shoot your very best probably. You might rise to the level of your training and hopefully you train a lot and you have that muscle memory and it's automatic to you because who knows what you might be going through. Your nervous system is going to be going crazy and you're probably not going to shoot as well as you normally would. So all those guys that are like, oh, I don't, you know, I'll only have to shoot once with the 45. Well, if you miss seven times, hopefully you don't miss seven times, you're out of luck. Whereas something like this, you've at least got 12 or 13 chances. Something like this, you've actually got 18 with one in the chamber. So that capacity actually is a big deal in my opinion. There's a reason why ARs and AKs come with 30 round magazines. Capacity is, it's important. It really is. So one of my favorite things about nine millimeter is capacity. The size of the bullet lends itself really well to double stack magazines. So something like this Taurus, which is very, very compact and easy to carry concealed, you can carry 12 rounds of hollow points and feel very well armed. So with, in my opinion, the biggest drawback of 45 being low capacity, this 1911 carries seven rounds in the mag plus one in the chamber. You're going to do a lot of reloading. So one thing about both of these you know, a lot of people think you have one or the other. I like to have both, obviously. I have guns chambered in 45 and in 9mm. And you can get different platforms chambered in both. This is an M&P 2.0 9mm. They make this exact same pistol chambered in 45, but again, it doesn't carry as many rounds. 1911s, while traditionally chambered in 45 ACP, they make them in nine millimeter. And in fact, I hate to say this, and some of you might hate to hear it, but I'm thinking about selling this 1911 and 45 and getting a Springfield Ronin that my local gun shop has chambered in nine millimeter. It's a beautiful gun, has a little bit higher capacity, 10 plus one, and with a big, heavy, all steel gun and the lighter recoil of nine millimeter, things should be very soft shooting and easier to keep on target, which just from my filming today, I've found that I actually do shoot better with nine than with 45, even though I always thought I shot better with the 1911s than with anything else. And I know it has something to do with this red dot, but this is also a great pistol and nine millimeter, you can just shoot it more accurately faster. Now I'm not saying you can't train to be just as good with a 45. People have been doing it forever. You know, 
Like they always say, two world wars in 1911 has been in that we won. Obviously, it's effective. And all that technology that's gone into making 9mm a better cartridge than it used to be, well, that same technology has also gone into 45, and so it's a much better cartridge than it used to be. So, you know, this is a hard one for me, but I gotta admit, I'm leaning a little bit more toward the 9mm these days. It's just a little bit easier to control recoil. I feel like I'm a little bit more accurate with it, and I really do like to have the higher capacity so that I'm not constantly reloading. Small and light, baby. I feel very comfortable carrying this little nine. So as much as I hate to do it, you need to practice with your defensive ammo. So we're gonna go through the rest of these hollow points today, just cause. So let me know what you prefer. Do you prefer the, the big man size power of the 45? Or do you prefer the more uh, modern, you know, slow, light, fast, high capacity of the 9mm? What works better for you? I do know the 9mm is the most popular, you know, pistol round, at least in this country. And for good reason. For one thing, it's cheaper to shoot. Just another reason that I'm kind of looking, of course, it's going to be a $1,000 1911, so that's not cheap there. But, you know, it is just easier to stomach going to the range and putting a lot of rounds of 9mm down range more than 45 when it costs, you know, about one and a half times as much per round. That's another thing to think about. So tell me what you like better. Do you think it's wrong of me to want to get a 1911 in 9mm? Do you think that, you know, that 9mm is just better? Because... I'm kind of leaning toward that lately. Hate to say it. You know, you can see right there, in the muzzles of these guns, there is a significant difference in size between those. And you know, a lot of people, to them, size is power. And, uh, and it's true, you are putting more energy into your target with a 45 ACP just due to the, the mass of it. You know, energy is like mass times velocity. I did take physics class. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you prefer. I love them both. I do feel like the 9mm is a little easier to shoot, and I love the capacity you get with it. Please check out my Patreon link down below and join that to help support the channel. Please check out the Amazon affiliate link, where I will link to... Uh, Maybe some holsters this time, or some 1911 accessories. But either way, whatever I link to, if you click the link, anything you buy on Amazon, whether it's gun related or not, gives the channel a little kickback, helps me out immensely. Please subscribe to the channel. I've actually got a good friend who has tons more guns than I do, who um, agreed to loan me a few for review soon. So we're going to have a lot more really fun guns to review. We're going to have a CZ Shadow 2, a Glock 19X. He's got all kinds of stuff, including a Barrett 50 BMG. He's got long range rifles, just tons of really cool stuff. And uh, so we will be featuring those things on the channel soon. So really good reason to subscribe. Please share. Please uh, comment. Tell me which one you like better. I know I already said that. I love you guys. Can't wait for the next video. See you then from Sawtooth Tactical. Stay strapped or get clapped.